right? So let's say you bought your domain off Namecheap or GoDaddy and it's the coolest app ever.com is your domain. And let's say you've already brought in the main root domain, meaning that, you know, whatever your cool app.com, but you wanted to bring in something um, smaller, like a subdomain at the front, like a triple W, like triple W dot, you know, my crazy cool app.com or um, app dot my crazy cool app.com, then it's pretty simple. You just, again, in Azure st Static Web Apps, click add, and it kind of knows since you've already brought in an existing domain um, that if you put like a subdomain in the front, it knows to give you the CNAME record option first. And you have this lovely, delightful forest that has been generated, you know, this is just a name, Delightful Forest, that has been generated by Azure Static Web Apps, and it's super easy. All you'd have to do is copy this to clipboard, and then on whatever registrar you got, you are going to hit up a CNAME record, and you can say triple W, and then paste, go like that. And you could do a different one, like let's say you didn't want triple W, you wanted a CNAME record of, you know, cool... Well, let's just, just say app or, I don't know, email or, I don't know, accounts payable or whatever you want. You could have anything. So I'm going to put app and then you can just, it's just another CNAME record. What CNAME records are in a nutshell um, are pointers to a, a host, right? And in this case, the host is in Azure. That's the fully qualified, you know, I guess, um, host and domain name. Right, so you could just point it to anything. These are like desktop shortcuts. So you could put, you know, a lot of times people do like dev, test, prod, staging, you know, or you could put like uh, my and then dot crazy cool app dot com. So keep in mind the front part of the URL that you're mapping, like the subdomain part. You can put anything you want. So one tip would be when you're registering a URL that you want, and if it's unavailable, Try to maybe think about it from the first part. Could save you tons of money because, as you know, dot coms and you know all dot AIs are expensive. So you would put you know my crazy cool, you know app that I built dot com right, and then that first part you don't have to worry about later. You don't have to register that. You can make as many um, you know subdomains as you want because that's like kind of just pointers to other things. So pretty easy to do. All set, good to go. Um, once you've added it over there, I'll remove this one. You go add. And this part can take a long time. It can take multiple attempts. You could just be waiting and aggravated of like, why is it working? Why is it? Don't worry, it's normal. Stay patient. Just keep on trying refresh, you know, all that stuff. But the main part is that you put that record in to your DNS um, on your registrar, like GoDaddy, Namecheap, or whatever. Once you got that, should be good to go. Thanks.